My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma! Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Hi everyone, Glamo here with Made with Love by Glamo. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making Glamo's Orchard Apple Coasters. Yum! You can make a red apple or a Granny Smith apple. What we'll be needing for this tutorial is an H-hook, two markers, and a tapestry needle. And lastly, a pair of scissors. Today's nail polish color is this one, and it's by Essie. And there is no name on it, but I'm sure you can go to Essie.com, um, or hopefully you can. And I'm wearing this flesh-colored nail polish because my nails are kind of short, so I don't like to draw too much attention when they're not that pretty. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm wearing today. Let's get that out of the way. And now we're going to get started with a magic ring. I'm going to leave myself a bit of a tail so that I can um, weave that in easily later. And so let's go with our magic ring. Okay, and now we're going to make a single crochet into the ring. And now a half double crochet. And now a double crochet. Let's see if I can get through all the threads. And now we're going to make a um, triple crochet. We're actually going to make five of them. And this is how you make a triple crochet. You yarn over twice, go in through the um, magic ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, Go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. And go ahead and make four more of those into the magic ring and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I've got my five triple crochets. Oh, and I was going to tell you one of the markers, um, go ahead and put it at that first single crochet stitch so that we know where to join. If you don't have a marker, just use a contrasting um, little short piece of a yarn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets. Ah, I keep losing my threads. I guess it's better than losing my mind, huh? <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, now we're going to make another triple crochet. going to make two double crochets again. Is that one? Yeah, that was just one. And two. And now we're going to make five triple crochets again. So meet me back here when you've got your five triple crochets into the magic ring. Okay, so I've got my five triple crochets in, and now I'm going to make a double crochet. And now a half double crochet. And now we're going to join this with a slip stitch right there at the stitch where the stitch marker is. So go ahead and do that. And you can close up the... Um, the ring, just tighten up that tail, and until you actually weave it in, it's going to probably keep opening a little bit, but um, I'll weave mine in a little later. So let's join at that first single crochet with a slip stitch. Okay. 
And now we're going to chain one and we're going to make a single crochet right back into that spot um, where we just joined. So make a single crochet into there. And that's where you will put your stitch marker if you use stitch markers. So that, because that's where we're gonna join after round two. So that was round one. Now we're starting round two. So we did our single crochet and now we're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and now a double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, and now we're going to make a double crochet and a triple crochet into that stitch, okay? So here's my double. And now a triple. Okay, and now we're going to put two triple cro crochets into the next stitch. Okay, so we're going to put two into that stitch and we're going to do that six times. So two triples into there, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to put my other stitch marker there. So put two triples in there two triples in there and all the way down till you get to the sixth one. Okay, so I've got my two triple crochets into each of the six stitches right there. And I'm gonna take out the marker. And now I'm going to make a triple crochet into the next stitch. Oops, I need to yarn over twice, don't I? And now I'm going to make a double into that same stitch. Okay, and now we're going to make two double crochets into the next stitch, so two of them. Okay, there's one. And two. And now we're going to make a double crochet and a triple crochet into this next stitch, so there's my double. There's my triple. And now we're going to do the same thing we just did over here on this side. We're gonna put two triples into each of the next six stitches, okay? So count out your six stitches and put your stitch marker there and um, I'll meet you back here when you've got two triple crochets into each of the next um, six stitches. Okay, so I did my two triple crochets into each of the six stitches there, and now we're going to make a triple crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, there's my triple. There's my double, and now I'm going to make another double and a half double into the next stitch. So here's a double, and here's a half double into that same stitch. Oops, I almost lost it there. All right, and now we're going to um, join right here where the stitch marker is. Okay, so I joined with the slip stitch right where the stitch marker was. And now we're gonna go on to round three. And so we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet right back into there like we've been doing. And let's put our stitch marker back there. Alrighty. And now we're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. And now a double crochet. And now two double crochet into the next stitch, okay? And I'll meet you back here. Put two into this stitch right there. Okay, so I've got my two double crochets into that stitch and I'm going to do that four more times, the next four stitches, okay? So one, two, three, four, and put your stitch marker there and put two double crochets into each of those. 
Okay, and now I'm going to take out the stitch marker and I'm going to count seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to put just one double crochet into each of those seven stitches, okay? So go ahead and do that. Just put one double crochet into those seven stitches, all right? And meet me back here. Okay, so now I'm going to put three double crochets into that stitch, that next stitch. Here's one. Two and three, and then one double crochet into the next two. So one into here, and one into the next one. Ah, had to pull myself some more yarn. Oh no, I left a thread, that's why it was hard. There we go. All right. And now what we're going to do is put a half double crochet into the next four stitches. So there's one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then meet me back here. So four half double crochets. Okay, and now we're going to put a double crochet into that stitch and the next stitch, okay? So go ahead and meet me back here when you've got those two double crochets in. One there and one there. Alright, and now we're going to put three double crochets into that stitch, okay? We're basically mirroring what we did on this side. Now we're doing over to the other side. So go ahead and put three double crochets into that stitch, okay? Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So count out your seven stitches. If I can get my stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's our seventh stitch where we're going to put one double crochet, okay? So we're basically, like I said, doing the exact same thing that we did on the other side. We're now doing on this side of the apple. So go ahead and meet me back here when you've reached your marker. Okay, so I've reached my marker and now I'm going to take that out and count five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to put two half double crochets into each of those five stitches, okay? So one, and then another one, and we're going to do that till we get to the fifth stitch. Okay, so I've reached the marker, and I don't think I'll need that for a little bit. Ah, can't get it out either though. Okay, it's fighting with me. Okay, so now we're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch. And then a half double crochet into the next one. And now we're going to change colors. Um, on the first apple that I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial, I used a smaller hook, but I found that our glasses that we have here um, didn't fit that well. So this is a smaller one. See that I made this one a little bit bigger. Um, and I made a green stem. I'm going to make a brown stem because that's what color the stems are in real life, right? So, so I'm going to make it like this with a brown stem. So what I'm going to do now, we made our half double crochet. And now I'm going to go into the last stitch, but I'm not going to pull up this yarn. I'm going to drop that and pick up the brown. Okay. And now I'm going to tie the, I'm going to cut that red because we're done with that color for now. I'm going to leave myself a tail because I like to have enough room to weave everything in. So now I'm going to, um, tie the brown tail and the red tail together. Okay, and now I can pull up on the brown for my single crochet to finish off my single crochet. And so now we're going to make the stem. So this is going to be part two of our lesson. Mm, I just went downstairs to take the girls potty, my furry babies potty, and my daughter made mini cupcakes, so mm, I'm going to have that before I finish the tutorial.
Okay, so now that we've made that um, single crochet, we're going to chain five with our new color, the brown. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is gonna be our stem. And so now what we're going to do is slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook. So just slip stitch that. And we're going to do that all the way down to the um, bottom, okay? So slip stitch the next ones all the way till we get down to the bottom. My dogs are drinking if you hear funny noises. Okay. This is the last one. Okay, so I finished with the slip stitches down the stem and now I'm going to put my hook in but I'm not going to pick up the brown. I'm going to drop the brown and cut it right there. So go ahead and you do that too. And I'm going to pick up the green for the leaf, okay? Just like we picked up the brown earlier, we're going to pick up the green. And we're going to tie the brown tail and the green tail together and then meet me back here. We've got that green loop, just slip stitch it through the brown one. Okay, and now we're going to start part three of our tutorial, which is the leaves. Okay, so for the leaves, we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. And now we're going to slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook, just like we did on the stem. Okay, and now we're going to um, make a single crochet into the next one. And now a half double crochet into the next one. Oops, I forgot to yarn over. And now we're going to make um, one double crochet there and one double crochet into the next one. Okay, so I put my two double crochets into the next two stitches. So we went up and now we're going to go down with our leaf. So everything we did over here up to the double crochets, we're now going to do going down. And that's how simple making leaves is. So now let's make a half double crochet into the next stitch. And now a single crochet. Okay. And now we're going to slip stitch right into that spot right there. Okay. There we go. Oops, I probably wasn't in the shop, but you know how to do a slip stitch. Okay, so now we're going to make the other leaf. We're going to chain one. And we're going to chain seven more, okay? So basically we're chaining eight. One, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And basically just what you did on that leaf, repeat on this leaf, and then I'll meet you back here, okay? If you need a reminder, just go ahead and rewind it and follow the steps I gave you for this leaf onto this one, and I'll meet you back here um, at the end, okay? Okay, so I'm done with my second leaf and I'm sure you are too. So we basically just did the same thing as on this leaf. We slip stitched and then we single crocheted and then we half double crocheted and then we um, did two double crochets and then a half double crochet and then a single crochet. Okay, now that we've made a single crochet into the last stitch of the second leaf, now we're going to slip stitch um, right here. Let me see if I can show you. We're going to slip stitch right there underneath the stem where we've been slip where we slip stitched the other leaf. So just go ahead and slip stitch into there. That's my phone. That's Facebook. That means that someone in my group has either posted something and needs approval or something. So let's go ahead and slip our hook into there and just slip stitch. And now we're going to chain one. And we're going to leave ourselves quite a bit of a tail. I left, I already cut mine. I, I left quite a bit of a tail. And now we're just going to pull that through and snug down that 
little loop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our tapestry needle and we're going to sew down the leaves if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to, but um, I don't want them curling up on me. So I'm going to stitch them down. And I was going to suggest that if you want uh, your set of coasters to um, each have different types of leaf, you can do one up, you can do them both up, you can do them both down. You can just play around with the leaves and do them however you want. Um, so go ahead and get your tapestry needle um, threaded through with this yarn and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I've got my needle threaded and I'm going to whip stitch right here to get it started. And you can either um, make whip stitches all along the leaf as you're sewing it down to the apple or you can just weave it through, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to weave mine through here, get to the end. So I just went ahead and weaved mine through the leaf and I'm going to just stitch it down right here now. And that's that. And then I'm going to weave it, I'm going to bring it back up through here, through the bottom, and I'm going to weave myself back underneath the leaf this way, and then I'm going to do the same thing to this leaf. So go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I'm finished. This is the one I did before, and this is the other one that I did. And this one we changed, remember, because we put the brown stem, I had put a green stem on my other one, and I've already weaved in my tails. Now I have five more of these to make. I want to make five more with the brown stem for my um, family room downstairs because I have a bowl of uh, fake apples and pine cones in this really nice bowl. So this will be the coasters that we use for down there. So all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, don't forget to meet me back here Tuesday, next Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday at Glamaw's. All right, guys, thank you so much for visiting me here again. And don't forget to watch the commercials and ads. <laughs> that way I can keep making these tutorials. All right, guys, bye. Thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamaw's channel. channel.